All right, so what I'm doing here today is tracing the ceiling curve to make a template for cutting out walls for my bathroom in the bus and maybe a few other walls. So what I'm doing here is I got a piece of cardboard. I taped it to the wall and pushed it as far towards this side of the bus as it'll go. You can see it's, this is where it stops. And I'm trying to keep this as flat as possible. I did that by going off of this line right here. I measured up about 10 inches to make sure this was flat with that, which is flat with the ground. So I can be as square as possible for a bus, which isn't too square to begin with, but we'll see what happens. But pretty much, you don't have to use cardboard like I'm doing. I'm just using it because it's light. I can tape it to the back of my bus and let it hang there while I trace it. I could use plywood, but I'd have to screw it somewhere. I don't want to screw it to the back of my bus. But say you had a wall framed out already, you could screw plywood right to the 2x4s or whatever you had supporting it and just trace it that way too if you're not able to trace it like I'm doing right here. So you're going to need a ruler or something straight that makes it down at least to the cardboard. This is pretty short, just barely makes it. And I have a square here. The only point of the square is so as I move along, I can try to keep this ruler vertical and straight as possible. And as I'm going across, I'm just going to use a marker and put a little dot right at the bottom of the ruler. So when I'm done, there's just a bunch of dots all the way across, I can connect them and then cut it. So, I'm gonna get started here. So I made a little mark up here where I stopped tracing. This is as far as I went with the ruler straight. All right, so I finished up the dots and I traced the line. Uh, if you can see, there was two sets of dots. When I got done my first one, I noticed that the cardboard had dropped from my mark and I don't want to risk it. So I just did it all again. And I mean, it looks like it was pretty close, but probably it would have been a little off wanted to be as close as I can so this works pretty good I mean if I had a combination square it might be better one that I can just slide and mark without holding everything um, I guess uh, another thing I've tried also is holding it and moving everything with the marker so it draws a line but that gets kind of difficult too because you're trying to keep everything square hold the ruler the line starts going off it's figured so far this is the easiest just make dots and connect them after so next I'm gonna set up my next piece of plywood sorry cardboard and uh, show you what I'm doing there so here's the second piece I just taped it up I had to tape it a little higher than the last one just because when I ended my trace it was right at this dot and marked where I ended so I could pick up with this piece and I need to start this high so I had to raise the cardboard up just a little bit so this will get a little tricky going down around these curves what I'm doing is this top corner of the ruler is what's touching the bus so this top corner is where I'm going to be marking once I get down to about here where it flattens out, I'm gonna draw a line, like copy this straight down, straight down, and then I'm gonna start marking on this side, on the bottom corner, because as I go around this way, now the bottom corner is touching. Then it'll flatten out again. I'll flatten out over here, and it's gonna go back to the top corner. So I will start marking at the top corner again. Pretty much just follow.
whichever side of the ruler is touching the bus. So, see how this works out. I'm going to start marking this. So I got both my pieces here. Um, I'm gonna put them up one at a time, see how they look. This was the first one. You can see that. Looks pretty good. Right there is where I stopped tracing. But up around top, it looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna see how the second one looks. Glad this looks as good as it does. I was kind of worried about this part. Um, yeah, there's the mark where I started, and it looks pretty good all the way around. I went probably about four feet down with it, too, and it looks pretty good. So, I'm gonna tape these both together. I'll probably tape it up on the wall, get a full shot of it in a second. So this is the final template. Might not look too pretty, but the curve is pretty good. Close enough for me. Try to film this before the tape rips and falls down. It's getting kind of heavy. Let's top right corner. It's starting to sag down. So that's the half mark of my bus. Traced all on the ceiling, the curve around that and down the side and I think it worked pretty good so hope this helps some people out there trying to do the same thing I'm doing um, I'm sure there's better ways to do this so if you come up with a better one let me know I always like new ideas